Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Decimals are everywhere, especially when it comes to money. You go to the store and all the prices are in decimals. You want to buy ice cream from your favorite shop? Again, prices are in decimals. You want to bake your favorite cake to surprise your friends? Well, the weight of the ingredients, they're in decimals. Jenny wants to prepare dinner for her friends, but along the way, she will have to solve some addition and subtraction problems with decimals. What do you say we give her a hand? All right, here's Jenny, and she's at the store buying ingredients for dinner. She has a chicken that costs $5.35, and vegetables that cost $3.72. How much money will it cost to buy these items? Well, let's start with estimating so we know about how much Jenny will spend. When we round $5.35, we round it down to $5. And $3.72 can be rounded up to $4. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So we can estimate that Jenny will spend about $9. And now, let's see how much money she'll actually spend. When we add up whole numbers, we want to make sure that the place values are lined up. This is the same when we work with decimals. The difference is the decimal point. Money is a great visual to help us distinguish between whole numbers and decimals. Uh, look at the numbers now. There's a great difference between the chicken for $5.35 and a chicken for $535, right? Big difference. Now going back to Jenny, let's start by writing the numbers vertically with the decimals lined up. Alright, great. And now we want to start with the smallest place value, the hundredths. 5 plus 2, yeah, that's 7. Uh, write that down and move on to the tenths. 3 plus 7 is 10, and even though we are working with decimals, the same carrying rules apply. Write the 0 down and carry the 1. And now for the 1s, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus the carried over 1 is 9. And great job! Last step is to make sure the decimal is placed. $9.07. Hey, that's really close to our estimate of $9. Great job. And while waiting at the checkout line, Jenny noticed that she has $10.49. So, after buying the ingredients, how much money will Jenny have left? Well, we can subtract in a way similar to addition. We want to make sure the place values are lined up, and we can use the decimal points to help us. Let's look at the hundredths place. 9 minus 7 is 2. So we have 2 hundredths. And now we can look at the tenths. 4 minus 0 is 4. And next we have the whole numbers. 10 minus 9, that gives us 1. So Jenny will have $1.42 left. See? It's useful to practice addition and subtraction of decimals. Just imagine if you were in Jenny's place. Ooh, and look, Jenny started preparing dinner already. Oh, but she poured too much vinegar for the salad dressing. The recipe called for 2.5 ounces, and she poured 3.4 ounces. Well, how much does she need to remove? Let's use place value blocks to help us visualize what we need to do. Here, we have the three holes and four tenths, the whole amount of vinegar. Now let's take away two holes and five tenths. That's the recipe amount. And see how much extra vinegar Jenny has left over. All right, let's start with those tenths. Now we currently have four and we need to subtract five. Uh, oh right. Looks like we need to borrow from the ones. So we can take one hole and break it into ten tenths. And now we have 14 tenths, which is plenty to subtract 5. 14 minus 5 is 9. And now for the 1s. There are 2, and we need to subtract 2. So 2 minus 2, well that's 0. And so we're left with just 9 tenths. And this means that Jenny had an extra 9 tenths and needs to remove 0 0.09 ounces to have the correct amount of vinegar for the salad dressing. Whew! We saved the salad. But you know, just to be on the safe side, let's check if we subtracted right. And how do we check? Well, we check our whole number subtraction problems with addition. And it's the same with decimals. So let's get to adding. 
All right, the amount we found, we need to subtract, plus the amount written in the recipe, and that should give us the whole amount that Jenny poured for the dressing. So we're gonna write the decimals lined up vertically, and we're starting by adding the tenths first. Five plus nine is 14. So we write four and we carry one above the two. Two plus one is three, and we don't wanna to forget to place the decimal point at the end. And so here we have 3.4 ounces of vinegar and good job, that's exactly the amount we're looking for. All right, what a mighty lesson adding and subtracting decimals that was. We've mastered the lining up of the place values to correctly add and subtract. And after all that great adding and subtracting of decimals, we're ready to feast on Jenny's meal. I'll see you in the next lesson.